Hello and welcome to Adam and Craig Do Stuff where today we're doing London Zoo. This is our first of a few um, vlogs while we're here in London. Um, oh, what's he seen? He's seen something? Red River Hog? Oh, a Red River Hog has been distracted by a Red River Hog. <laughs> Sorry, that's um, not the most cohesive <laughs> intro we've ever had, is it? Um, so yeah, we're here for a, a few days in London, so there's going to be a few videos coming. And this is the first time in a while that we've been to London Zoo. In fact, the last time we was here was 2016, so there's been a few changes. It's the first video that, we've ever made for it. Yeah, the, the first, first time, time we've videoed here. Um, red river oh yeah. look, look at them! Oh. <laughs> um. So recently they've just opened a Colobus monkey walkthrough um, which is in the Snowden Avery which used to be a, a bird free flying Avery but it's now Colobus monkeys. So that is pretty cool so we're going to go straight there first. We can and have a look at that. We can find our way, yeah, because it's, <laughs> it's been, been a while. A while. <laughs> yeah. Um, I forgot how big London is. Just know you need to get onto the um, other side, underneath the road, <clears> and underneath <throat> the um, across <clears> the water. It's about all now. But also, that's not the only exciting new thing here at London Zoo. They've recently the had. Zookeeper waving at us. Um, recently, they've just had uh, triplet tigers. So the tigers just gave birth to triplets about three months ago, and I know that they are. Um, on view to the public because I've seen videos of them so I'm hoping definitely hoping that we do get to see the baby tigers while we're here mm. um, we've also and got something new being built over here I don't, yeah, know, what I don't know what that is and also there's a baby sloth at the moment too so hopefully we'll see that as well um, and also here at London Zoo they've got an amazing lion area and the theme in there is amazing for a zoo it's like on theme park level for the Asiatic lion is that how you say it? Asiatic, Asiatic. Asiatic lion um, um, so, we're going to find our way to the new Colobus monkey um, walkthrough and we'll remember. catch up with you um, <laughs> once we're there. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> So that's uh, the Monkey Valley behind us there. We've just done that now. Um, yeah, that was good, wasn't it? It was, yeah. yeah. We couldn't really... Um, you get... We couldn't really um, talk in there because... No. Um, because it's still quite new. I mean, how long has it been out? About two weeks? Yeah, mid-August it was, so about two weeks, yeah. Um, so they're still getting used to it, the monkeys are, the colourless monkeys. Um, so you, you only get a timed slot, don't you, in there? You get five minutes. Five minutes. Um, and it's guided by a um, two keepers. Yeah. Um, we seem to be panicking quite a lot about the monkeys getting close to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, because they're still not used to humans, mm. they're jumping on the, the bars and trying to get close to people. But yeah. it's an amazing enclosure, isn't it? It was an amazing, amazing enclosure, yeah. Um, oh, wowzers, really is a pygmy, pygmy hippo. hippo right here. Wow, we've never seen a pygmy hippo this well before. I don't know if you can see that, wowzers. That's cool. Yeah, 
Um, um, so yeah, and then we can go around. I think there's like giraffe and zebra and stuff here. Yeah, no carpet, which we um, love. But really cool just to have um, Colibus monkey to walk through. Isn't yeah, it? and it's a, a big Ooh, aviary for them as well. Um, well it's not an aviary because they're not. Well, birds, it but. used to be an aviary. <laughs> it used to be an aviary. It's a big enclosure. It's a yeah. decent sized enclosure. Yeah, really nice. Just walking through the uh, African, Afri Afri into Africa. We're walking through the um, into Africa section. Um, well, we've just been through the into Africa section. Uh, <laughs> so we're just walking through the into Africa section, um, which started with the pygmy hippos that mm, we that were, we're excited at, for. The, yeah, yeah, we've never cool. seen them that well before. Pygmy hippos before. No, they? last time we came here, all those years back, um, it was inside the whole time. Mm -hmm, the whole time, weren't there? Both mm -hmm. of them, just in a little um, pool sleeping. And then they've got um, giraffe. Uh, although we're in London, so it's a giraffe, mm. um, and they've got a zebra and a carpi, and what was that thing called? The red, red forest dunker. Red forest dunker. dunker. I think that's how pronounce it. Which is cute. It's a little Duncan. little sort of red deer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It um, lives in the forests of Africa. Not the, as you'll see as we go around the rest of the zoo, not the best enclosures that they have. No. Oh, no. you just. Sorry. Cut me right off. <laughs> I was looking How at what. Rude. <laughs> um, there's warthogs sleeping down there. That's what I was looking at. <laughs> yeah, so not the um, not the best enclosures that they've got here. There's they're very bare on the ground, and there's not no grass. Um, they're not very big, um, mm. and the buildings are really scabby, aren't they? But I imagine it <laughs> might be it might be because they're listed. Because I know a lot of the buildings yeah, here are listed, are listed. aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, I don't really know why, because that giraffe house could quite easily be knocked down, and they could build a better one, couldn't mm. they? Really, I don't see why. It needs to be listed, but hey ho. In fact, I think the sea lion pool as well, which we'll probably show you later, that's a listed. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, um, it's an old really, sea lion pool. Really old style concrete sea lion pool. There's nothing in there at the minute. Uh, no, 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 yeah, it's empty now, but because they, can't, it's listed, they can't get rid of they it. They can't get rid of it, um, which is weird because it is just a concrete pool, so I don't quite understand that. But anywho, um, the warthog enclosure is not bad, is it? No, I don't know if you can Too see bad. them, but they're down there sleeping in their sty or. Would you call that a sty? I don't know, that little den thing. Also, there's a lot of sort of den. Well, they're not cages because they're string, aren't they? But mm -hmm. the, um, the views are quite obstructed for the, the zebra and the giraffe, which you probably saw by the footage. I couldn't get the zebra without getting the um, the sort of fencing in. Whereas the hippo and the carpi, you can see quite well, can't yeah, you? Yeah, so yeah. Definitely, I think a bit of refurb work would, wouldn't go amiss in this area, if I'm truly honest. Yeah. But, I've got to see Land of the Lions later, and that looks mm -hmm. amazing, doesn't it? It's so well themed down there.
We're in Land of the Lions now, which is, if you look behind us, an amazing, amazing area for a zoo. One of the best um, areas yeah. in the UK zoo, definitely. That we've seen, Although yeah. we're showing you a wall with Theming. a pipe on, look. Yeah. <laughs> for theming, anyway. That's a bit anyway. of a um, You've gone too far, look. Too far. There you go. There, there we you go. go. Um, so at the minute, we're by the dwarf mongoose, um, which are in this area as well. Because he's cute as hell. They are really cute. Yeah, <laughs> so cute. And they're making some little chirpy noise. I didn't realise that's the sort of noise they made. No. Um, no, they're, they're one of those animals that are often not out when you come round mm, at other yeah. zoos anyway, because they've got the... Well, they used to have them at Chessington, didn't they? They did. You they never, did. We never saw... Hardly ever saw them. No. And um, Chester have also got them. Mm -hmm very very difficult to see there as well but these ones quite active around. yeah there's quite a few of them here um, um so as well as lions in this area they've also got monkeys the mongoose obviously and they've got massive massive vulture mm. massive vulture um and uh, hopefully we'll we'll see lions really yeah well. we've caught a glimpse of the lions you've probably already seen them um but at the, at the current time of speaking we've got a caught a glimpse of the lions but um they're not really very easy to see no at the moment are they they're only one small area. They've mm. got a huge enclosure, huge. but at the minute they're just in one small area, which is packed because um, everyone's looking at them. A complete um, difference between this and like the enclosures for the hoof stock over on the other side. Oh isn't yeah, it? completely yeah. different. Really, really big. Um, really good views of the animals. Uh, well, well, when they're in the right place, um, and a really well themed area as well. Mm -hmm. This is one of the best themed areas yeah. in the UK zoo that we've ever seen. Like Indian markets and the tuk tuks mm. and. Um, some sort of sandal stall, and then they've got some fake signs for shops that don't actually exist at yeah. as well. And they've got another tuk tuk around there as well. Mm -hmm. But these painted cows, I like these painted cows. Yeah, I like them painted cows too, they're um, pretty cool. Yeah, it's a really, really nice area, huge area, and mm. you don't get this a lot, do you? Chester Zoo sort of done a bit with the islands. Um, and then we went to Wild Zoological Park last was it last year, year before? Yeah, um, the year before the year of COVID. And that was a, only a small animal park, but a really, really well themed. Yeah, that was park. really well themed actually, wasn't it? Um, actually, even looking here, like even the mongoose bit's got some quite good theming in. There's got like a railroad there. Yeah, because I think if in buckets. the line enclosure, you can actually see the, the trainee pallety mm, thing. Yeah. Um, that it leads to. So yeah, really cool area. At the moment, we are in the um, what's it called? Tiny Giants. Tiny Giants. Called. Yeah, we're in Tiny Giants, which is the bug house, um, aquarium, and just like mini beasts. Um, crawlies. Sort of crawlies. Area. Yeah. But one thing they have here is um, a walk through a spider enclosure. Um, <laughs> I think it's the only one in the UK, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, sometimes it's nice to be the first to do something, but in other senses, I sometimes feel if no one's done it before, there may be a good reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to do it. Um, are you going to do it? No, I can't imagine anything worse, if no. I'm honest. No. <laughs> so I'll I do will, that on my own. I will stay right. In fact, there's a bath next to yeah. us with something. The bath there. Uh, even, I can see one now. And a shower. So this is, yeah, so these ones here are like the type of spiders that you'd get at home. Um, and then they've got a venom area where, with the more poisonous spiders behind glass. Oh, and then they've got the spider walkthrough area, which I'll take you through. Now, if like me, you're not a fan of spiders, don't worry, because we're going to put the walkthrough in a separate video, which I'll link up here. So if you do want to go watch it, you can go watch it there. Um, but don't worry, there'll be no spiders in this vlog. There we go, did you have fun? I did, I did enjoy that. I do like a spider. I can understand why people don't like them, but I think spiders are really fascinating. There's not, I mean, to be fair, there's not much I won't go near, but there's something about spiders that just, oh, oh I just can't, <laughs> I just can't. Um, but as long as you have fun, and it is really interesting, because like I said, nowhere else in the UK has got that, so it's really cool that they have got it here, if you are a fan of that, but personally, not for me. On the other hand though, we've got some monkeys up here, that's much more up my street.
like about London Zoo is um, they've got quite a few um, walk-through enclosures like this one behind us. Um, they've got a couple of bird ones, haven't they? Um, yes, they have. Yeah. This one is just called Bird Safari. I don't know what the other one's called. Um, but they've also got a rainforest walkthrough area. And the cool thing about that one is that they've got a nighttime and a daytime area to it. And the nighttime one is really cool because it's got animals in there that we've not really seen a lot of before no, like, you won't um, see. like slow loris and um, what else they've got it's got uh, different kinds of yeah. loris we don't get loris that often. Them, yeah. well, we didn't see any no we didn't see any <laughs> but they they've have got, got loris the, there they've got ai ai as well yeah um, last time we came to london Zoo, we did see that one we didn't see it today no and they've got bush baby and we saw that really well we did today get some good views yeah. of the bush baby we love the bush baby and um, the giant jumping rat as well which is beautiful. Mm. It's really cute. It's really thing, cute, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, the bush baby took us quite a lot of attempts before mm. we managed to get a good view of it. Um, especially because with it being a nocturnal area, obviously it's all sort of red and um, dark, obviously. Yeah. So you don't, it's, even when they are there, it's hard to get a good view with them. Um, but yeah, it was a really good area. Yeah, and then they've got the daytime part of the rainforest area, and we saw the baby sloth. Um, in there, mm. which was cool. It's cool. We didn't. Ex I didn't expect we would see the baby sloth, to be honest, because most of the time when you do see sloths in zoos, they're just normally curled up sleeping. Mm. Um, and which... it's really cool because the the sloth and the tamandua can just literally just roam mm. free. And they've got tamarind in there as well, like a free roaming, haven't they? They've got so, what, tamarind. Yes. God and yeah. tamarind. I haven't seen them come onto the the sort of the walkways, no. but the sloth and the um, tamandua will sort of crawl. Um, above your heads mm -hmm. and they'll, they'll just roam anywhere weren't they really? The yeah. sloth was laid on the floor at one point wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was with its baby. And I think the next walk through area we're going to try and get done is the butterfly house. Because mm. um, it's quite a cool one here, it's a, a big inflatable one so I think we're going to head huge there. huge queue for it all day hasn't There it? has been and last time, last time we passed it the queue wasn't that big so. I don't remember what it looked like. We've also not really had a lot of luck with the lions or the tigers, oh, the tigers have we? No, no. no. So, we've seen the lions but not to not any very well. great degree. No. Um, tigers at tigers all, we haven't, haven't seen at all. We have not seen um, any glimpse of the tigers. So I think we'll try butterflies and then we're just going to keep going until we eventually get some kind of big cat action on the vlog. Mm. There's no queue anymore. Let's go. actually a penguin pool. Um, so this is, uh, it says down here, you can see it's a grade one listed structure so they can't touch it, it's got to stay here. Um, obviously, whereas, to be honest, I'd be quite happy if they tore it down and turned it into something new, wouldn't you? Mm, yeah, or made use of it, like maybe... Turned it into a feature. Yeah. Um, but I think it's a, um, a stark realisation of just how far we've come in that time in animal care because this is horrendous yeah, it's, like <laughs> it's unseen, disgusting yeah. um you think that's the pool they would have been in um uh, and you can see it's just concrete all the time i mean in terms of size um it's not bad for saying it opened in what 1934 mm. it's bigger than some of the enclosures you would have seen around that time yeah. but, but the actual penguin pool they've got now is perhaps the biggest penguin enclosure we've mm. maybe seen. Um, really good one we've got here. So much better. Mm. But yeah, I think it's it's interesting to look at this and see just how much things have changed over time.
finally we managed to see lions pretty well didn't we mm. um it's mad because all day they've always been sort of in the same spot but um just sleeping but they've got like a huge enclosure like all of this and behind they've got, us they've literally they've got all of this yeah <laughs> they've got more behind they that have, and like then a they've bridge got there. the section over there where we're just filming yeah. them and they've literally spent the entire damn day <laughs> in one corner and it's hell in there isn't it because yeah. everyone's gathering to see them um, Whereas the if they was here, there'd be more space for people yeah. to spread out. Yeah, because you've got but, all that up, um, up, up there walkway. What am I yeah. talking about? Raised walkway. Yeah, <laughs> the up there walkway. Um, Whereas where they are at the moment, the only place you can really see them is if you go in the sort of tunnely bits, mm. um, and it's just horrendous. It's just there's just so many people in there. Isn't it? Yeah. Trying to, see them at the moment um but yeah they've literally been up in that corner the entire day the yeah entire time like we've been sleeping there. right up against the glass mm. so they've only just started wandering a little bit just now yeah, so and that's the most we've seen them move yeah. all day since we've yeah. been here but they've got all this all this to explore and they're not using it um but well, at least we did get to we mm. did get to see at them we did, did get, get to, to film them, them. um so just tigers now mm. <laughs> yes find. hopefully if we'll they even them. exist mm. some woman was saying that she'd heard from a keeper that they um the tigers are usually more active in the evening yes we did whether that's true i don't that, know because yeah. people do have a habit of making things up but we will see we will see Well, that was incredible. <laughs> After about what four or five visits to this enclosure, we finally it's managed to see tigers. both both adult tigers and all three cubs as well, yeah. which is absolutely amazing. It was, and I think um, the only time we've ever seen tiger cubs was once many years ago at Blackpool. Mm. I think that's first. That's the only time. We've but ever even seen then, tiger they weren't cubs. that small, were they? No, how? these ones they're not even three months old yet. I was going to say, do you know how old they are? Yeah, because the. Um, I heard the keeper saying that they don't know what um, sex they yeah, are until they haven't, they're three months old. Yeah, I heard her saying they haven't gendered um, them, they haven't named them yet either. Because I said that they, that I heard her say that they won't go in and touch them until they're at least three months old. Mm. Oh, so they're not even three months then. No. Do you know how long they've been on display to the public? I'm not sure if I'm honest. Okay. Only, it was only this week that I've noticed them put up videos on the Facebook and mm. their Instagram. So can't be very long. Not can't be very long. long. No. But that was absolutely amazing. Yeah. I think they must have been because they. You can probably see on the the footage they've been. They were in the the back, weren't they? Sort of mm. like amongst all the foliage. So I don't yeah. know if they've been hiding there all day. Because I know some people like where we're sat now. They've been looking up in this corner. Yeah, because there's like um, a wall there. Um, yeah, there's a the wall that runs around the, um, along the back. I'm a bit wonky here. And that's where. Sorry about that. That's where we saw them come down from it just now. Yeah, so I don't know if they've been up um, up there all day, but it's amazing to actually finally see them mm. come out. And not only that, but they've been playing with each other. They've yeah. been crawling on top of the parents. Um, oh, what a really successful day yeah. it's been! It has, <laughs> it's been absolutely it amazing. Um, the Colobus Monkey enclosure is it's fantastic, isn't it? It's a great mm -hmm. addition. Um, be a bit better once everything's settled and they can just sort of let people roam freely through it. It's a bit um, regimented at the moment, isn't it? Um, and we went to go back, didn't we? We went to go back through the Colobus yeah. Monkeys, but 
there was a huge clue. Yeah, huge queue, huge queue. Um, but yeah, that's a great addition to the park. Um, eventually managed to get to see the lions um, in what is one of the most amazing lion enclosures that we have in this country uh, and one of the best themed zoo areas in this country. Uh, and we've seen tiger cubs. Mm, and sloth cub, uh, sloth baby. <laughs> I don't know what they call no, I don't know what they call a baby sloth actually. No. I don't know what they're called. Um, but that was, what wasn't young, young, was it the, no, the no. young sloth? It was, cause it was fairly big. It was, I'd say more than half the size of its mother, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and tiger cubs. So what an absolutely oh, can phenomenal day. Still. Can you? Yeah, through the fence over there. They did start just as we left. They sort of started going back, sort of off you, weren't they? Mm. Didn't they? Um, they went down. They've got like a little sort of caged track that leads to what I imagine is their indoor house. So mm -hmm. they were sort of starting to disappear into there. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic zoo and it's been an amazing day, hasn't it? Has it? We've been, been really, really, really successful. Really it, yeah. um, it was this morning, it wasn't too bad. It did get busy, um, like sort of around midday, didn't it? It's mm -hmm. been for quite a few yeah, hours, it's been absolutely like rammed. Uh, yeah, and then the last hour, everyone's disappeared. There's barely anyone, <laughs> there's barely anyone here now, um, which is usually with, the way with attractions. But um, there's been a, a huge, a really noticeable difference, hasn't there, between how quiet it was this morning and how quiet it is now to mm. like midday it was it was absolutely packed there was people everywhere um but it's been an absolutely amazing day this is the first day of the london trip we've still got two more to go haven't mm -hmm. we two more days. um so tomorrow we have got oh there's a little rat or a mouse or something or a, uh i don't know if you can see it, it might be too small but by the bin there's a i can't I don't even know which direction i'm going in there over there somewhere there's a little um yeah, it might be a mouse actually. Yeah, too, I think it small looks to too be small to be around. Cute. Unless it's a baby rat. Um, so yeah, lost my train of thought. <laughs> yes, this is day one of um, three. So tomorrow we've got a packed day. We're a really busy day. So we're starting off with the Jurassic World exhibition. That's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, we've got two trips to two separate wizard experiences. One is a wizard's afternoon tea at the Wizard Exploratorium. Um, and their sister company, the Cauldron um, Company, have um, invited us down to do a potion making class. And then we're finishing off the day with the Stranger Things experience. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. Adam, what do you need to do if you want to see all of that fantastic content from us? Click the subscribe button. Give us a like and drop us a comment because why not? Yes, and we'll see you for a very busy day tomorrow next time we do stuff. <laughs>